Hello there everyone, Mediocre Otaku here, and today we're going to be looking at my Fist of the North Star collection. Now these are all of the DVDs that have been officially released in America. Um, there are only, I think, two um, things that have not been released over here, which is the Fist of the Blue Sky anime series, which was released by uh, the same people that did the JoJo OVAs. And then a series of OVAs and movies called Legends of the True Savior, which are sort of reimaginings of stuff from the original series here. Um, so hopefully we get those at some point, because I would totally buy them. But let's just get this stuff out of the way and start off with set one of Fist of the North Star. Now, these three sets here have been compiled into a uh, huge-ass box set by Discotech Media. Um, and as far as I'm aware, um, that's really the only way to get it at this point, because these are all out of print. Um, but if you're into some good old 80s action anime this is this is the one you want to see trust me i love this show got kensho and ray looking down at some people they just murdered back and the uh the first set there actually has an english dub for uh every episode i forget what company had the license to Fist of the North Star. And I think it actually did have a TV run. Um, I didn't watch it on TV. Um, but yeah, uh, the dub is okay. They changed some of the names a little bit. Um, but overall, it's not bad, and the voice acting is pretty decent. Um, the Japanese version, as far as I'm concerned, is the way to go, though. I don't think any other voice actor for Kenshiro has really uh, nailed the way uh, Akira Kamiya has uh, portrayed him. Akira Kamiya is the original voice actor for Kenshiro. And starting with this set, it's kind of disappointing because um, they just use the same art on the discs as they use on the back. Whereas the first two sets did not, which is kind of weird. And here we have Fist of the North Star 2 with Kenshiro holding Ein. There's Falco and... I forget who that red-haired girl is. There's Bat and Lin. Fist of the North Star 2 is... Uh... I, I like it, but there's some very strange things about it. Um... Which, whenever I do a review of this, I will go into in more detail. Um, but yes, there's Ein, and then there's Kentro punching Falco. This on Star 2 does have my favorite fight in the whole franchise, though. Which is uh, Kentro fighting Han. It's one of the generals of the land of Ashura. I really like this artwork here. Kayo on his horse. I forget his horse's name. I know Coco is the name of the horse that Rao has. And I fucking hate these disc holders like this. I always feel like I'm going to break the disc out when I try to do it. There we go. It's got to push down hard enough. And Kentro fighting Kayo there. Alright. And that does it for the original TV series. Like I said, I would definitely recommend it if you're into this sort of thing. Um, here we have the Fist of the North Star movie. I want to say this came out in 1986. Don't quote me on that. 
And this is also released by uh, well, Discotech Media, although the license belonged to another company before them. And what's really interesting about this movie is that uh, only censored versions of it exist on VHS and DVD. And in the Japanese trailer, you can see the uncensored versions of some of the clips. And in the Italian VHS, it is not as heavily censored, for whatever reason. Um, there's a scene of some guy getting his head crushed, which is taken out of this and the Japanese version, but it's left intact in the Italian one. And a lot of times they'll put, like, blurring effects on some of the more violent stuff, or, um, they'll just, like, do a, a weird... They'll put, like, a weird color filter on it or something, and in the Italian VHS, some of those are not there. So I really don't know what the hell happened with this. Still pretty cool, though. Next up is new Fist of the North Star, which I only watched through once. I didn't think it was that great, but I th think I'm going to have to rewatch it again at some point. Um, the English dub for this was pretty decent. From what I remember, and obviously this is uh, a lot more violent than the original 1984 TV series. Nothing special there. Um, yeah, I think this is supposed to take place like completely after the manga, because Fist of the North Star 2, the way it ends, there's still the manga still went on for a little bit afterwards, although people uh, generally don't think that anything after that was really all that good. So, uh, if that's where they suck the anime, I'm fine with that. But it's just weird that they chose to produce completely new stories for this instead of just doing what they could have with the manga, in my opinion. Alright. Legends of the Dark King. This is a good show. If you like the original series, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Um, the manga for this was actually... Uh, done by Baronson and Tetsuo Hara, who did the original series. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the English dub for this is actually pretty decent too. I forget the names of these two characters, but they're like Rao's right hand man and right hand woman. And lastly, we have D.D. Fist of the North Star. I only watched, like, two episodes of this. It was decently funny, but, um... I... I don't know. I... <laughs> I wasn't super into it. But it's Fist of the North Star, and I felt like I had to have it to complete my collection. So... That's, uh... That's why I got it. Here's the discard. And uh, with that, that is everything Fist of the North Star that's been released over here so far. Um, hopefully, Discotech Media and Sentai Filmworks finish up getting the rights to everything and end up releasing it all. This half is all Discotech Media and this half is all uh, Sentai slash ADV slash Section 23. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you all next time.